day 12. Eight new teams. Well, eight old teams, but eight new racers. Hey, everybody, I'm Brendan, and I do not miss Scott Ferguson's riderless car. Yes, we got another one. So be ready as the standard cart takes to the track with absolutely no rider. How does that happen? How can that work? I don't know. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. Did I do that yet? I forget. Mach 8 Yoshi painted up nicely by Numskull. Toby Marsh. Waluigi in a B dasher. Makes sense of that. I don't know how. Team Wes. We have a birthday. Oh man. Birthday girl. Birthday special. Birthday. Uh, birthday boy. Birthday box. <laughs> I don't know. Birthday gift. Birthday girl, I think it was. Team West. And we got the riderless car in the standard cart with Scott Ferguson. So, which vehicle is the fastest in this one? I don't know. We have a weird set of cars. Looks like Yoshi comes out strong through the gate. I'm excited that we're moving forth to that last fourth of the tournament. And look at all those cars. You see them packed there on the right. All the cars who have raced well I think those might just be the well yeah those are all the ones that have raced before just lined up and waiting and I can't imagine what the winning vehicles are doing some have not raced in a long time in the pressure setting being that from the first few days they're gonna have to stay warm and uh, keep waiting Yoshi in the Mach 8, followed by Waluigi, then Toadette, then the standard car. Waluigi breaking away from the pack up a couple lengths here, running through the first turn, looking fast. He breaks out of there with a lot of acceleration. Standard car also trying to play back in the game here, far side, and he's not going to get a good break from that turn. Waluigi has some room to run. Will Yoshi challenge on the far side there? He's going to have a wide line to work with. Waluigi again staying in the middle here, and he's going to look fast down towards that fat track section I almost said no mistakes but he bumps off the transition loses a little bit of speed but runs really fast towards the finish this could be a sub 20 and it's not 20.5 I thought that had an opportunity to be a sub 20 but not so standard cart crawls its way to the finish got wheels over got wheels over and slid away I don't know how we give that because it's not currently crossed ah that's a tough one birthday girl not even close and well that's two DNFs for that car not looking good we've not had a, sh uh, a DNF sweep though I don't know how to call it four DNFs in a row that'd be something maybe we see that today I don't know it's not too exciting for the racer but it would be nice for us I guess just as a as a history setter a record setter oh I mean he crosses there he crosses there do we give it to him and look at the standard cart Kind of sitting there. Standard cart is granted two points. He got wheels across. He got some of that car across that line for some moment in time. And that's enough. Standard cart. I think it's weight. I don't, I think, you know, you think about the pipe frame who's like, has the record 18.7663, by the way, I won't forget. And the riderless pipe frame, I think, was just a better choice because it was low to the ground had a little bit more weight and was a little bit bigger of a car. The, the standard car, I think, just wiggles too much. Too much uh, weight above the ground. Too much, um, I, I guess, not enough length to it. So it can't really hold its own weight or position. I think that's a struggle there. Waluigi whipping around the hairpin. Chance to go sub-20 here. I think he's going to do it. Camera can't even catch up. And timer says 19-7. Here comes Yoshi for three. And Waluigi almost goes right up there into the camera. 19.76, about a second behind the best record we've seen. We have three DNFs in a row! 
three DNFs in a row. I believe that's a record. That is a record of races and fun. That is a record on races and fun. I'll say it again to confirm it in my own head. Record on races and fun. Three. For anyone wondering, those are connects, by the way. I think, um, I know people are asking, what are those red things? What are those, uh, those, those, uh, yellow things? They're special connects. I think they're thicker. Not all connects with the same thickness and diameter. And some pieces have that kind of tube that goes through the center. They are connects pieces. They're, uh, they're more special. You got to really seek out your connects. To answer that question, whoever's listening intently, there you go. You can follow up in the Discord, we can talk about it. Join the Discord, by the way, if you haven't already. These look very connexy. Maybe I'll even uh, try to find some for you. Here we go. Three DNFs from Team West has set a record. Congratulations, Team West, as much as it might hurt. Uh, and we'll see if you can build upon that record here. On the other hand, Waluigi looking for a more honorable record, which would be a... Uh, <laughs> A lowest time so I don't know if he's gonna be able to beat out 18.7 here we go into the fat track section and he breaks in pretty well even off the side lane round the hairpin down towards the finish on oh, nose twisted for a second round to the side and I think that's gonna be too slow 20.2 Yoshi runs in will we get a fourth DNF standard card crosses and I think it's been done no it has not record set of three DNFs in a row However, however, we don't get the fourth. So that DNF sweep still unachieved. Birthday girl found the finish line this time by some stroke of, I don't want to say luck I even, I don't know, just absolute unintention. That's, <laughs> that's what it seems like. Advancing, of course, Toby and Numskull. Second group. Fascinating, fascinating to see a car DNF three times on a track where it's not really supposed to be that hard to finish. Ryan Kelly, Mario in a pipe frame, it's a classic. Mini Mafia, looks like, what do we got there for Mini Mafia? That is a Wario in a B-Dasher, but painted up quite a bit. PR Racing, Shy Guy in a Sports Coupe, an interesting combo, and B Old Ford. Yoshi in a pipe frame, a lot of pipe frames. Last time when I guessed 20 in that video, I got lucky. There indeed had been 20 based on someone's calculations. With all these new pipe frames, we gotta be up to like 25 or more. Here comes the sports coupe. Ooh, Shy Guy goes for a spin, triple spin! Wario finds room and passes! He's up by a few lengths, Shy Guy has no speed to catch up and that's gonna start in Wario's favor. 21-2. Man, that's rough. Created a vortex, look like, with his movement. We could have picked Wario up in the tornado. Maybe some momentum grab there. Mini Mafia. I do remember the name. I remember B Old Ford. I can't remember how they all performed. I know they're all. On the edge of their seat, at least wanting to get to the finals in this one. Looks like the sports coupe is the most likely speed-wise, even though Wario won that first one. She's got to hold control down into that later section. You know, it's harder for shorter cars like the sports coupe to have control when the track breaks open like that. And so we'll see if he can maintain his control. Here comes Shy Guy. Running the inside line and then going to go to the outside in a moment. Wario holding with him and then even accelerating now. Takes over by a length or two and he's got the lead. Here comes the sports coupe but he lost all his speed in that wide turn. And Wario's trying to hold on. Skids for a second around the hairpin. Oh, very, ooh, very dubiously. And it looks like Wario will still hold on for the win. 21.4. And that's going to be another five. I thought Shy Guy would have been a little more dominant there, and I was wrong. It's 21 seconds. Not a fast group. Not a fast group indeed. Two fives for Wario. I guess he's working on that uh, partial sweep, but again, I, it doesn't seem like a fast enough group to contend well with the first group. 
which we saw something as low as 19.7. Shy guy out there to an early lead. Wario, not far behind. What about Yoshi in the pipe frame? Anything from him. Has had two third places so far, but just can't get his wheels going into that second straight. That's where cars start to break away. You see Shy Guy making his run for it here. Wario is trying to stay on his tail, but just doesn't have the most favorable turns this time. Here comes Shy Guy. Third turn coming. Wario breaking in there. He might take over a lead. He does on the inside line. Up by a length, but it's close. Shy Guy still has some room to run. Oh, a cutoff there from Wario, but some space. Nose block. Weird time. Inside line. Shy Guy is left in <laughs> a no speed zone. Somehow he gets going again. I, I want to say a no speed limbo as he just kind of left out of that hairpin just spun into a skid that seemed uncontrollable maybe got knocked forward but you see look he's in that skid now nah, he looks like he just got himself going again maybe got knocked forward here though a little bit yeah there we go there's a there's an upfront knock almost sent him tumbling but Wario is going to pick up his third win at least working on that partial sweep indeed Mini Mafia, 3-5. Exceptional racing. Let's roll out. Wario, looking for that partial sweep eyes on him. Yoshi, I mean, I'd say he's just trying to fight for a win here, but DNF'd in that last one. Shy Guy, though, just trying to keep things close here. Would like to end that partial sweep if he could. Keep things pretty even keeled going into that final. Wario near side, had a lead for a second, but lost it to the inside line. You know, a longer car like that, we've talked about it. Has a trouble keeping speed to all those inside lines. Going to go outside here. Shy Guy has an advantage. Here he goes to that second turn and loses speed, but Wario's not there to capitalize. Down to the fat track section, Shy Guy will maintain control a little bit. He bounces a little bit off the walls, but he's going to run to the finish line and stay straight on that. That's eh, a decent time, 20.8. Can't get mad. Wario will finish backwards for three. You see him kind of ride in the wall there. You see that, that in and out on the wall? He wasn't straight up. He was kind of touching the wall, off the wall, touching the wall, off the wall. I mean, that's just a lack of control, and it looked okay from the vantage point we had during the race, but I, I got to be honest, that's not going to be good for speed. That's speed loss there when you're touching the walls and when you're not staying straight. Swerving, I mean, you know swerving. If you if you go out in your car and swerve on the road, you're just not going as fast. There is there is something to it. Those lateral motions will have an effect on your overall speed. That being said, Shy Guy in the sports coupe off to a pretty fast start in this finals. Waluigi looking like he's going to put an end to any of uh, Wario's and Yoshi's hopes as well. He's way out in front of the pack and the gap is closed here comes shy guy sports coupe big lead waluigi almost loses the third but he's gonna stay in front by a couple of lengths knocks into the middle there here comes shy guy around the hairpin and maybe waluigi has a chance to push past on the near side he's going to find the gap but he's not gonna have enough time to make the gap 20.8 wario will follow slowly behind yoshi pipe frame no, sorry, Yoshi Mach 8 this time. And just way behind. Way, way, way back there. Four days to go after this. Will the record be broken plus the finals? I mean, the, I, it's hard to see any car besides that riderless pipe frame break a record. You know, it's hard to imagine that. Uh, based on what we're seeing. But we have four more days where we could see some combination that we could never imagine. You never know. Like this Waluigi and the B-Dasher, I think, is quite a fast racer. I would not have expected such a combo to succeed. Almost went below 19.5. Waluigi breaking away from the pack right here with some middle lines. Looking fast and looking like he has some clearance right now. Maybe he can stay straight and keep the mistakes low as he heads into the fat track area. There he goes right in. Oh, bounces and spins around the hairpin. There's a chance for catch-up. He's on the near side. He leaves a gap open, but Wario can only nose block. 21-2. Wario's strategy was maintain what I've got, not go for more. Puts on a great nose block on Yoshi. And Shy Guy is flipped to the back. Eight for Waluigi. P2. 
PR Racing. And I think he's still got a chance. It's just going to be about the performance here in this third race, I think. And that's going to kind of set the tone for the fourth one. Shy Guy breaking away early on. A few lengths ahead and more. Waluigi ooh, running up on the near side here. He's going to round the turn only about a length back and break away. Shy Guy losing speed through that turn. And all he can do is he can't even draft until the fat track area. So all he can do is keep the gas to the floor. Here comes Waluigi again down towards the fat area. And, well, he'll break into it nice. No spins this time. Hairpin. Oh, big swoop through the hairpin. That looked very fast. Maybe even a sub-20 here. Not with all that swerving, though. 20 flat. 20.0. Shy Guy will finish three points. And Waluigi looks most likely at this point. Here comes Wario. And he would have been sub-19, sub-20 there if he didn't swerve here. Look at the swerving. Swerving, swerving, swerving. I mean, that's not good for speed. He loses out, and he just jumps into the 20s there, even though he had an excellent race in the single lane section. Let's see what we got. We have 13 points from Waluigi. I mean, that's going to make it very hard here for Shy Guy. Shy Guy has nine. If he gets five here, that's going to give him 14 points. He would need Waluigi to get last place to push it to a tiebreaker or whatever. Let's see what happens. Waluigi near side. Looking like last place is not going to be his friend in this one. Breaking away already. Shy Guy just trying to hold on. He's hoping for a mistake down in the large section. The uh, wide section, sorry. He, mm, I mean, it's breakaway here. It's breakaway here. Here comes Waluigi inside line. It's just, it's just not happening. Maybe a mistake to be had. Bounces in. No spin early on. Hairpin looking good. No late skids. Oh, he does not skid late. 20 flat again, basically. And Shy Guy rumbles and side flips as he loses. Well, Ouija, and he did the best he could in that one, put his fastest self out there, even could contend in the finals with that kind of consistency in the low 20s. And unfortunately, PR Racing did not have that. So Toby Marsh. Waluigi and the B-Dasher, what a surprising combo to bring you victory. Congratulations, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun. But we got that Slanman Customs uh, starting gate and uh, timer at the end, which has been just wonderful, a new model from them. And so you get a look at it here and how it all works, and it is beautiful. And it is new, and it is more accurate. Four decimal places at the end of our timer. And so really just a, a product worth buying if you are a Hot Wheels fanatic and if you want precision timing and just something that looks nice and adds to the whole feature of the track setup. You can go to their Facebook, Instagram, and their Etsy. That's where you're going to buy and speak to them and connect with them. I recommend it. Links are in the description if you are looking for them and uh, well it's your very own races and fun sponsored products today slammancustomsagain.com www they have their own website and again their Facebook I'm excited to see who we got racing today and what kind of vehicles we have to see. We know every model that's chosen with every uh, other possible character has different uh, strengths and weaknesses. So we're going to get a chance to look at that here in a moment and get racing. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how awesome Slamman Customs is, and that's what we're doing right here. A lot of products up there. You see uh, the track clamp, banked curves. I mean, they really got some good stuff there for racing.